Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna show you five foods to pair with a very specific fast to be able to improve your thyroid function. So those of you that are new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and I am on a mission to overturn metabolic syndrome in this world. We have poor metabolic health. So you will see here on this channel that fasting paired with the right food can have a dramatic impact on your metabolic performance. So please stay tuned all the way through this video. Please subscribe, and those of you that are sharing my videos out, super grateful for you. Okay, I'm gonna keep this really simple because we have a tendency to overcomplicate health, and when I see some very specific foods that we compare with fasting to get your metabolism sped up and to improve your thyroid function, I get excited. So let's talk about thyroid for a second. And I have done several videos on thyroid. My team will put the links in the notes so that you can go and find those other videos. But let me give you big picture for a moment. When we look at thyroid function, it's not just the thyroid we're looking at. The thyroid has to work with other organs to be able to function properly. I have a whole podcast I did on labs, on foods, on fasts, a whole discussion. So go to the Resetter podcast and you can listen to the hour long interview that I did with Dr. Rebecca Warren, where I talk specifically about the intricacies of thyroid. For the sake of this video, I wanna give you a complete picture of thyroid and then I wanna dive into these five foods and why they work so well. So here's how the thyroid works. Your hypothalamus and your pituitary are the ones that are going to send and control a message to the thyroid gland and tell the thyroid gland to make T4 a thyroid hormone. The hormone that they send to the thyroid gland is TSH. Many of you are getting TSH red on your blood work. When TSH hits the thyroid gland, the thyroid will mostly make T4. But T4 is not very uh, helpful to you. You have to convert T4 into T3 to be able to get that hormone into the cell. So after T4 is made, it will go on to the liver and the gut to be converted into T3, and then T3 will go into the cell. And then once it's in the cell, a feedback loop goes back up into the brain and says, okay, we've got thyroid production working well here. So we've got a lot of different organs to look at. Now, the second thing I want to point out about thyroid uh, function, and this is, like, this is like a pet peeve of mine. Every time I'm on a podcast interview around thyroid, I get asked, doesn't fasting cause a problem to your thyroid? And the answer to that is no. Calorie restriction over time can be damaging to your T3 production. What I am advocating for here is not calorie restriction. I am talking about time restricted eating, where we are compressing our eating window, leaving a longer time for fasting. Eight hours of, of eating, 16 hours of fasting. If that's new to you, go back and watch some of the videos that I did on why that style of fasting works. It's phenomenal for the thyroid. Now, when you eat, when you open up that eating window, we're not calorie restricting, and I want you to add these five foods into your eating window to improve thyroid produ uh, production. First food, iodine, where you can find that is in seaweed, but I wanna make sure that you are getting clean seaweed, so it should be organic. The thing to know about iodine is your body does not make it. So if your body, you have to bring it in from an exogenous source. So when we have proper amounts of, of iodine, your thyroid is going to be able to make T4. Now it will also make a little bit of T3. So it's not like the thyroid doesn't make T3 at all. It just mostly makes T4. 
One interesting thing to note is that the four and the three is tells you how much iodine your body needs to be able to make these hormones. So it's in the hormone name that it needs iodine. So adding in clean seaweed, when I say clean, I mean make sure it's organic, make sure that it's been tested for heavy metals because seaweed can hold on to heavy metals. So you want to look into the products that you're using for seaweed. But if you're not eating seaweed, it may be time to add that in. Second food, selenium. So this comes from Brazil nuts. So six Brazil nuts gives you the, all the selenium you need in a day to keep your thyroid healthy. What selenium does is it also makes it so that you are able to make enough T3 and T4 hormone. And you primarily get selenium from Brazil nuts. They look like that. Again, make sure they're organic. If you can get them raw, even better. All you need is about six of them. The other thing we know about selenium is that people who are low in selenium have a tendency to have more of an autoimmune thyroid condition. So if you've, been, if you've been given a diagnosis of Hashimoto's, here's like a really beautiful hack. 16-8 fasting, break your fast with Brazil nuts every single time, at least six of them, and let's make sure you're getting enough selenium. Third thing to know is that there is the other category of food is pumpkin seeds. Now, personally, I love pumpkin seeds because pumpkin seeds will raise progesterone. And as a menopausal woman and to my menopausal women out there, we need more progesterone. But we also know that pumpkin seeds add zinc into the picture. Est you need zinc for estrogen production. You need zinc for proge progesterone production. But you also need zinc to be able to get that thyroid to make T3 and T4. So you could create, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm coming up with a recipe on the fly here. You could make a little seaweed salad and put, sprinkle some pumpkin seeds on it with a handful of Brazil nuts. And now you're breaking your fast in a way that is going to nourish the thyroid. Fourth food, this one, this one shows up everywhere. I'm starting to think this is like the best food on the planet are berries. All kinds, raspberry, blueberry, boysenberry, a wall of berries, strawberries. You want to make sure they're organic, but they're packed with antioxidants. And the more antioxidants you have in your system, the more free radicals you are going to be able to protect yourself against. This is why it's so important for the thyroid. The thyroid is the canary in the coal mine. So it's going to be the thing that, that gets damaged first by an increasing toxic load. So if you already know you have a thyroid problem, what I want you to realize is that you also have a toxicity issue. It's very difficult to be able to not have a, to, if you have a thyroid problem, I, I've rarely seen anybody who doesn't have a high toxic load. Again, go watch the reset or listen to the Resetter podcast on iTunes where I talk about this with Dr. Warren about how important lowering our toxic load can be. But when it comes from a food perspective, if we add in more berries, especially I love these foods for breaking your fast so that we can improve our thyroid overall thyroid production. So make sure that you're adding in more berries. Last one, and this one is really interesting because those of you that are trying to stay low glycemic, this can become a little problematic. And that is grains, whole grains, complex carbohydrates that are high in fiber. I do not have a piece of bread there. I wanna point that out. This is a bowl of rice. I specifically wanna point out brown rice, if it's clean and free of arsenic, we go to a farmer's market where we have to kind of chat with our, our people and find out if they test for arsenic in the brown rice. If you don't have access to somebody that you, can, you know can get you brown rice that's clean, then I would encourage you to switch to quinoa. Quinoa is a great whole grain that has lots of fiber in it. But you're looking at your brown rice, you're looking at your forbidden rice, and you're looking at quinoa. Those are great sources of complex carbohydrates that have a lot of fiber in them and are gonna support a healthy thy th thyroid production. So the reason that complex carbohydrates are important is because they really help with blood sugar management and they also support healthy gut. Remember that once the thyroid has made T4, 
it's got to go into the liver and gut to get converted into T3. So fibery foods that are complex and, and not only supply the thyroid with what it needs to make the hormone, but supplies the thyroid, the gut and the liver with what it needs to break that hormone down and convert it into the usable form of a thyroid hormone is magic. Add that to these other foods, add that to a 16-8 style of fasting, and you now have created a fasting lifestyle that is going to help you overturn your thyroid condition. And over time, this isn't a one meal thing that you do. Over time, you will start to see a change. So super simple gifts from nature, compare it with fasting. And if you have gotten a great change using fasting as a tool, using any of these foods as a tool for, to help your thyroid problem, put it in the notes, put it in the comments so we can see it. If you listen to that Resetter podcast that I did, we are getting so much feedback on that. So please tell people because I am super proud to give you guys information, free information that you can use to be able to point your health in the right direction. Health doesn't have to be complicated. Thyroid conditions don't have to be complicated. We overcomplicate them often. It can be as simple as a 16-8 fasting mixed with the right foods, and boom, over time, you bring the health of your thyroid back. So as always, I hope this helps. Tell your thyroid story in the comments, and together we can move not only metabolic health, but we can move thyroid health in a really positive direction.